When pretzels and chocolate combine, a phenomenon happens. If you've ever had a chocolate covered pretzel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna take pretzels and combine it with brownies inside and on top of it, all around brownies. I've got some chocolate chips here and I'm gonna add them to this bowl that has some butter. You just need to melt the two together. You could do this on the stove top, but I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave. There it is, everything's nice and melted. Just give it a quick stir. It'll look like it's not gonna come together, but soon enough you'll have a smooth, chocolatey mixture here. Just set this aside so they could cool down a bit. Meanwhile, we're gonna work on the rest. So I have a combination of two sugars here, some granulated white sugar and some light brown sugar. You need two eggs. I'm gonna try to double fist crack them into the bowl. You ready for this? Three, two, one. Oh, snap! <laughs> and finally, some vanilla. This smells good. This smells legit. We ain't gonna stop. We ain't gonna quit. This has cooled down just enough. Now we're gonna add it to the mixture. Great, now we're gonna switch over to a spoon and we're gonna stir in some of this flour. In comes the pretzels. Just gonna add them to a bag because we're gonna crush them. But do you ever hear people tell you, hey, when you're in the kitchen, take out your aggressions, you know, crush things up, think of that person you don't like? Well, I think that's really violent. You should think of that person and just think about them transforming into something better. Be better! Be better! You want them about this size, nice tiny pieces. But for the rest of the chocolate chips, We've got the combination of the salty with the sweet together. It makes beautiful things. It is sweet, so uh, this is not the dessert that you eat by yourself. You gotta share with your friends. The batter goes into a baking dish. I got it lined with some parchment, a little greased. Evenly spread the batter. Now this goes into the oven at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. Meanwhile, make a basic salted caramel sauce. Combine sugar and water in a pot and just stir it around until the sugar dissolves. At that point, put it on a burner and just swirl it around. Don't stir it with a spoon because you could cause crystals to form. And to prevent that even more, just take a brush with some water and run it along the sides. Now after several minutes, it'll turn a nice amber color. That's when you know you're ready to add the heavy cream. And then drop in a butter cube at a time. Because this is salted caramel, some salt. You may be tempted, but do not lick the spoon. Looking out for your tongue. And once you have a nice, luscious caramel sauce, just set it aside to cool. The brownies are done. You're gonna let that sit to chill. The caramel's gonna chill, and I'm gonna chill. Look at this. That means it's ready to be poured on the brownie. It's okay if it, oh, look at that, draping over the sides. And like I promised, even more pretzels. Just place them right on top. And this is a great way to sort of indicate where your portion sizes should be. I'll slice it up this way. Oh, so gooey. And then this way. And there you have it. Pretzel caramel brownie. Mm. I need a moment. Mm. Pretzels and chocolate. It's like Jay-Z and Beyonce, and I'm crazy in love. I hope you guys give this a try. I'll see you next time. Remember to just eat life. Mm.